Hello, my name is Kishwani. S K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 219. Today is our lesson number 78. Lesson number 78. And we are at problem number 4. Let's take a look at it. It says, what is the prime factorization of What is the prime factorization of 372? What does it mean, prime factorization? Prime factorization means exactly what it says. We have to find all of its prime factors, not all the factors. But the prime factors, the factors, the factors of two, 372 which are prime numbers. And this is how this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Where should we do it? I need I need the room for the next problem. Let's do it here. Day number 74. On day number 74, we were at page 163 and then and, and on pay, day number 75 we jump to page 219. There is nothing in between from 163 to 219. This is how we find prime fac fac factors, 372. And you start dividing it. Is to you start dividing it by the lowest possible number that you can find. Other than one obviously because everything is divisible over one, you're gonna end up with the number itself. So let's divide by two. I know it is, we know that this, this can be divided by two because it's an even number. So let's divide by two. How many twos in a three? There is one two in a three. The one the remaining one goes here and joins this card becomes 17. How many twos in a 17? Well 16 has eight twos. The remaining one goes here and joins this card becomes 12. How many twos in a 12? There are six of them. Turns out this is again an even number which means we can divide by two one more time. How many twos in a one? There are zero twos in a one. That one goes here and joins this card, becomes 18. How many twos in 18? There are nine of them. And how many twos in a six? There are three of them. Now it can no longer be divided by two because it's not an even number, it's a 93. Let's divide by three then. Because 93 goes into three, nine goes into three, three goes into three. 31. And 31 is a prime number. 31 cannot be divided by any number except itself and 1. It's a prime number so there's not much we can do there. That's it. So the prime factors prime factors of 372 are right there. 2 3 we don't count the 2 again, they, 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 it's, it's, it's being repeated. So the prime factors are 2, 3, and 31. That's it, we are done. 372, despite the fact that it's such a large number, it has only 3 prime factors. 2, 3, and 31. Let's do the next part. In second part, part B, it says, what are the positive divisors? was part A. Positive divisors of 372. What are divisors? Divisors is a very annoying, very, very fancy way of saying. Factors. I'm going to throw this marker because every time I pick it up I hate it. The tip is gone. It writes very poorly. The 
let's say this cone. Divisor is a very fancy way of saying factors. So now our job is not just to find the prime factors, but we are asked to locate all the factors of 372. Our job is to locate all the positive numbers. It must say positive numbers because otherwise we will not have to worry about the negatives as well. 4p. What are the positive what are the positive divisor of 372? Let me rewrite these factors here. It's too fat and too ugly here. As I said, the tip in the previous marker was gone. Factors. So our job now is not just to locate the prime factors, which we already have done, but all the factors. And if you just sit there and do it haphazardly, willy-nilly, you're going to miss some. You're going to miss them. You have to have a system so that you don't miss any at all. So here's how we do it. We know that the prime factors are 2, 3 and 31. And we know that 372 and we, we, know, we know from this work that 372 equals 2 times 2 times 3 times 31. We know that. For the time being, to keep our life simple, we're not going to worry about 31. We're going to keep 31, keep 31 in abeyance. And if you do not know what it means to keep something in abeyance, and if you are interested in improving your vocabulary, and I see no reason why you wouldn't be, because not only you want to get a decent score in math, but you also want a decent score in the English part of the GRE. Just type in my name, Keshwani, and then type in vocabulary day 9. Just Keshwani, vocabulary day 9, and search for it, it will pop right out. Learn the word abeyance. To keep something in abeyance, it means, it means to, let's keep it aside, we'll deal with it later. Let's, let's leave it in, uh, uh, aside. I don't want to deal with it right now. Right now, we're going to deal with these three guys. To find the factors of 372, the easy factors. We'll worry about 31 later. So, 2 times 2 times 3. Well, what factors do you find here? I, obviously, I see a 2. I see a 3. Now, let's do the pairs. If we do the pairs, I see a 4. And then I see a 6. And then, it'll be 4 times 3, which is a 12 which of course is the quantity itself. 2 times 2 times 3 is a 12. That's it. Those are the factors of 12. Those are the factors of 12. We have 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. Now we will worry about now now that now and now we have now all we have to do now all we have to do let me let me pick it up on the top here. Let's pick it up on the top here. We don't need any of this thing. Of course, in the exam, you're not going to go at such a leisurely pace. We have a pace. Uh, we're just learning. We're just taking our time. Now, now that we have the factors of 12, now we'll deal, we'll deal with 31. Now, all we have to do. Now all we have to do is to simply multiply each of these numbers, each of these numbers by 31. And we are done. So let's do that. Again, I need more room, so I'm going to raise this part now. We're very close to it. So here are the, here are the factors of. So now, now we are ready to make. make uh, now we are ready to list all the factors of 372, starting from here. Two, three, four, six, twelve. And then 31, 
which was this guy here, and then, watch what happens, and then 2 times 31, and then 3 times 31, and then 4 times 31, and then 6 times 31, and then 12 times 31. That's it, we're almost there. We're almost there. Again, I don't have to keep saying this thing. As I, as I need more room, I have to raise stuff. Actually, we're done with this part too. We're done with all of this part here. That's it, our list is done. We just have to figure it out. So we got 2, 3, 4, 6, 12, 31, 2 times 31 is 62, 3 times 31 is 93, 4 times 31, 4 times 30 is 120, so it must be 124, which is just as well, because 4 times 31, because 4 times 31 better be twice of 2 times 31, which we know is 62, twice of 62 is 124, then 6 times 31, well 6 times 31, is 186 and finally 12 times 31 is the number itself 372 that's it here we have all the factors of 372 or do we this list is not complete this list is not yet complete what did we miss? Why not have some fun? Pause the video at this point if you like. Pause the video, look at the list and ask yourself, what did we miss? We missed something. So if you wish, you can pause it. Otherwise, uh, here we go. We missed... We missed one. Voila. Now we have our complete list of all the factors of all the factors of three hundred and seventy two. All the factors of three hundred and seventy two. Now ask yourself how would a question like this appear in the exam? How would they structure it? There are several different ways. They can give you a whole bunch of factors in the list where you have multiple choices that you have to pick. They give you a whole bunch of answers and you ma you, your job is to tick mark all the ones that apply. So if they give you, sometimes they give you A through H, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, they give you eight answer choices and your job is to tick mark all of them. And if you missed one, then of course you won't get credit for it. But if they give you six answer choices, and four of them belong in this list and they ask you to tick, check mark which of the following are the factors of 372 and if you happen to miss 186 you're done or if you happen to miss 93 you're done. Very, very few people actually see immediately that 93 is a factor of 372. Why is 93 a factor of 372? Because we know that 372 is divisible by 31 and 93 is simply 3 times 31. So since 372 is 12 times 31 Therefore, 3 times 31 must also be divisible by this. So that's one way they can ask you the question. They simply give you the list of all the numbers and simply ask you which of the following are the factors of 372 and you have to check mark all the ones that apply. Huh? Which is the new type of questions which did not exist in the old GRE. In the old GRE, which still exists, which is the quantitative comparison question, here's how they're going to structure the, here's how they're going to structure the problem. Why don't we actually put the problem on the blackboard? Just for the fun of it. Just for the fun of it, this is how it will appear. Well, I'm not saying this is the only way it will appear, but this is one of the ways they can test your knowledge, whether or not you understand what factors are, whether or not you understand what prime factors are, or whether or not you can concentrate enough to make sure that you don't miss any. Here's how they may ask you. It's not, I'm making this question impromptu. It is not in my notes. It may not come out very well. Okay, well, I'm taking a chance. Here we go. Column A. Column B. Numbers of even factors 
of 372, number of odd factors. I'm gonna I'm gonna retire this guy too. Just give me a second. just don't keep something in this room where I can just throw it in there and there is a thought that have crossed my mind and I'm still processing the proposal I have been processing the proposal for the last number of years number of even it shouldn't say numbers number of even factors of 372 and number of odd factors of 372 let's find out how many even factors are there in the list well one two three four, five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, you see, this was, this was an easy question. Of course, in the real exam, they will be a little bit more clever. This, there, are too many, there are too many even factors. There are eight of them, which, of course, gives the game away. The, in the real exam, the people who write the questions are very clever, They're, so that the answers are very... Low. It's not eight versus, eight versus one, two, three, or it's not eight versus four, obviously. This is too far apart. So even if somebody is careless, and if they, even if they miss one or two, they still might get the question, uh, question right. They don't want that to happen. The people who write the question, they are clever enough so that this might be five and this might be four. They're going to be one apart or just two apart. Then going to be, there's not going to be a disparity of four. But this is how they will ask a question, something like this. So you need to understand what it means to be the factors of something, what it means to be the prime factors of something, and you must have the ability to list all the factors like that. So we're going to redo it like that. Okay, pay attention. You see how quickly it goes. It should go less than 30 seconds, like this. Well, not this, less than 30 seconds, like maybe one minute or so. So this part is very quick. You just do it out and this is it. So now we know the factors are 2, 3, 4, 6, 12, and 31. 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, or 2, 3, 4, it comes from here. 2, 3, and then 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 times 2 is 6, and then 12. That part takes care of this part. Then you put down your 31 and you simply go, off you go. 2 times 31, 3 times 31, 4 times 31, 6 times 31, 12 times 31. You're done, that's it. Those are the factors of 372. Do you understand? I will see you tomorrow on day number 79. Bye now.